And we deal with various government departments when we come to the needs-based side of things. Okay. So starting from immigration department, mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of, um, it's not just paternity, but other relationship testing that we do okay. for Department of Immigration, where they've sent a letter of invitation to do mm -hmm. a DNA test to mm -hmm. prove the relationship. This is mainly where someone's sponsoring a child or a relative from overseas, mm -hmm. and the department's not satisfied with the relationship. Mm -hmm. They want DNA proof of it. Okay. So we have pathways where we can reach out to departments overseas that will do the sample collection. We do the sample collection in Australia. We marry them together, and then you get the results. And that helps you with your case in immigration. Okay. We deal with a lot of um, child support departments where, you know, fathers usually feel that they are paying child support for a child that may not be biologically theirs and they want to do a legal test to prove otherwise so that they can get out of paying child support. Okay. Or okay. instances where, you know, a person is not listed on the birth certificate and the mother cannot technically gain child support from the person, but she knows that he's, he's the, the father, father. Okay. and she needs to prove that legally to be able to go across to that stage. So that's where it all comes in handy. It's not always the dark and shady part of paternity testing that we are looking at. Mm -hmm. um, we do prove paternity in um, several cases, you know, where um, a child is uh, left in a war-torn country and then reunited with a parent that has come to Australia to seek refuge and has got permanent visa, now goes to find the child, 